Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 Media and today I'm going to show you how to hide the WooCommerce part of your website from guest users and logged out users so that only people who are logged into their user account on your website can actually view your shop at all. As you can see, I've got a WordPress website here with a WooCommerce shop installed. And at the moment, it's all fully public so that anybody who visits this website can see the shop link in the menu, they can navigate to any categories, they can click on product pages and so on. So at the moment, my store is completely public. What I'm going to show you how to do is use the WooCommerce private store plugin, which is one of the plugins by ourselves at Barn2 Media to hide your WooCommerce store from guests so that only people who already have an account on your website and have logged in will be able to see it. So let's get started. I'm now in the WordPress admin for my website and what I need to do is activate uh, the WooCommerce private store plugin. I'm assuming you already have WooCommerce set up, so you've already created your store and if you haven't done that yet, install the free WooCommerce plugin and uh, use the official documentation to set it up and start adding your products and everything. And then come back to this tutorial and get the WooCommerce private store plugin. Um, I've already installed it on my site. Uh, I've got a billion plugins installed because it's a test site, so let's just find WooCommerce private store which is here. So WooCommerce private store, we activate that plugin. Um, let's go back to the website. So this is the page I had open before I activated WooCommerce private store. Now I'm going to refresh the page and I want you to watch it and see what changes. As you can see, the store has vanished already. So um, simply by activating the plugin, we have hidden the WooCommerce private store. Um, we've made it private um, and that's nice, but it's not quite what we want to achieve yet. As you know, the focus of this tutorial is how to hide your store from uh, guest users. I'm logged into my admin account, so I want to be able to see the store and guests should not be able to see it. So let's make a few changes to make it work in exactly the way we want it. But this is a good start, as you can see. Next, we need to go to the private store settings page to tweak how it works. So we go to WooCommerce and then settings, and then you'll see a private store tab, which is added by the plugin. You need to activate your license key um, before the plugin will start working. Um, to be honest, the reason it worked for me straight away is because I've used it before on this site, but it will not hide WooCommerce from your site until you activate your license key. So that's really important. Um, you can ignore the password protection options because you're going to be using the plugin to automatically unlock your WooCommerce area from logged in for logged in users so that it's hidden from guests. So ignore the store passwords, you don't really need one and all of that. But what you need is to tick this logged in users option, which will automatically unlock the store for logged in users. And that's exactly what you need. So tick that box. And you might also want to hide the password form completely. So that, um, Usually I would recommend ticking both of those boxes because you can allow people to unlock the store either by entering a password or logging into their user accounts. But I think that can be confusing for, for people sometimes because they won't know which is which. So I recommend hiding the password form. And instead, what you can do is, um, I'll show you how it works actually. So let's click Save Changes and I'll show you what has happened now. Um, because I'm logged into my site, I'm now going to go to an incognito window where I've got my website open. And I'm just gonna refresh the page. And you can see that the WooCommerce stuff is completely hidden. There is no way for me to see that this website is a WooCommerce website. Um, I can see my public pages as usual. I can see the home, contact. If I had a blog or other pages, they would all be visible too to me who is now a guest user because I am not logged into the website. Uh, so that's completely hidden. So let's see what happens when a logged in user tries to access part of the store. So this is the, let's, let's go to the shop page and see what we see. 
So now we're logged in, we can see that. So that's what you want as well. But what happens if you tick, click on a direct link to a product when you're not logged in? Obviously, the links to your products are hidden from public view. So guest users shouldn't really ever come across by mistake a link to anything in your store. That's the whole point of private store, it's hidden it. But what if they've uh, saved a link or bookmarked it? In that scenario, a guest user who has a user account but isn't currently logged in might sometimes see a link to something in your store. So let's go back to our incognito window. I've copied a link to a product on my website and I'm gonna try and access that product when I am not logged in. Now, as you can see, it's taken me to the login form, but you saw earlier there was a password entry box. That has now been hidden because I told it to on the settings page, but it doesn't provide any useful information here about what that user might do if they've accidentally tried to access some WooCommerce content when they're not logged in. So let's go back to the admin of my website. And here I am going to make this a bit more helpful for people. The only time people will ever see this is if they are not logged in and they have saved a link to a product or something so that they're trying to bypass the protection that you've built into your store. So not many people will see this, but it needs to be user friendly anyway. So you could say log into your user account here or something and then you could like write a link to uh, you could put in a link to it and another tip for you is that you could actually um, add a login form for the user account directly onto this page that's not a feature of WordPress or WooCommerce as it comes but if you install a free plugin such as theme my login which you can get from the usual WordPress plugin database then you can get a short code to create a front end login page, which you can enter here uh, by putting it in the settings page field. So if you could enter a login short code here for the user login account, then if anybody accidentally stumbles across a link to any WooCommerce content, then they can enter their login details directly from that page. So that's just a slight usability tip. And the plugin I recommend for that is called Theme My Login. Apart from that, um, you would normally just let people log in via the standard WordPress user registration, user login process. If you don't want people to use that process because it's not very professional, for example, then again, I'd recommend using the Theme My Login plugin to add a front end registration form to your website or a login form so that people can log into their account and in doing so that will unlock the WooCommerce area of your store. Another handy feature of the theme My Login plugin is that it allows you to show or hide the registration form and also to hold new user registrations for moderation so that if you wanted to approve registrations before they could access your private store, then the theme My Login plugin has an option to do that. So by using that alongside the private store plugin, you can create a really neat WooCommerce setup where your store is visible to logged in users and hidden from guests. So whenever someone logs into their user account, they will be able to see any links you've added to the menu, any WooCommerce widgets, the cart link, all of that will be visible to logged in users, but guests and logged out users will not be able to see it. You can get the WooCommerce private store plugin from our website, barn2.co.uk, and um, it also comes with support and a detailed knowledge base. So do get in contact if you need any help learning how it works or how to set it up. Thanks for watching.